Brittany here. I'm going to show you how to make a mall stick. All right, so usually mall sticks are around 50 to hundred dollars and um, it can be somewhere around $20 if you find a good one um, or an inexpensive one. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to make one for under $25. So first things first, I'm going to show you a few household items that you can use as a mall stick. Uh, first things first is my favorite, which is a ball launcher. You can definitely use this. Um, what you can do to keep it in place is glue it in place, or you can put, um, I have ripped up t-shirts, cut up t-shirts that you can place over it and some twine and go ahead and tie a knot around it and it'll keep it in place. Another one is a dishwashing um, sponge. You can use a toilet bowl cleaner. Um, and this is just a smaller version of a mall stick and it's um, you can wrap it as well. Okay, um, you can use fly swatters. If you want, you can um, cut it smaller. Uh, this has a design on it where you can cut it or make it more round and then you can um, fluff it up if you'd like to, um, but you can definitely use a fly swatter. All right, so here's my mall stick. I used a broom handle a metal broom handle that I stepped on and broke. Uh, this at the end of it is going to look like all chewed up, but that's not a big deal because what you're going to do is get floral foam. Take your floral foam. I use about two and a half inches floral foam and slightly, lightly, you're going to take your um, chewed up piece of your metal handle, floral foam, and you're just gonna push in a nice little hole. It takes a little bit of pressure, but you can get it on there pretty good. Okay, so what I have is my mini mall stick and then I have a longer mall stick. You can definitely break this again, um, but you're just gonna have it chewed up. So I would suggest using the other side of it. Okay, and then my t-shirts I got at Michael's. Everything else I got at the dollar store. So it's very inexpensive. I spent about 25 total on everything just so I could show you. <laughs> okay. So I have my t-shirt. You can use any color, obviously. Um, if you want, you can also bedazzle this or paint it. Um, you can do whatever you'd like to make it look um, more customizable. Okay, so now I'm gonna tie my knot. and double knot it okay so i'm going to cut the excess twine off and there you go this total the t-shirt was five dollars twine i already had the broom handle was a dollar so now I have, and the floral foam was also a dollar. So probably under $5 or under, um, I'm sorry, $10 for a mall stick. Another way you can do this, uh, it is the 4th of July tomorrow. So I got myself um, a flag. So this has that at one end and nothing on the other end. So what I'm gonna do is take off the flag part. I'm sorry, but just so we can have our 
other version. This flag was $1.50. So I'm going to keep the flag if I want to use it again. I'm not going to throw it away. But here we go. So now I have my floral foam. And my flag post. And I'm going to punch a hole like I did with the broom handle. And... I got two t-shirts if I wanted to do a different color. So what I'm gonna do is cut up this one. Okay, so with your t-shirt, I usually just cut a square. If you cut it round, you might, um, like if you cut a circle into the t-shirt, you might not have enough um, of the shirt to tie at the bottom. So usually a square will do. Okay. So I'm also going to cut up my twine. All right. Okay. So I have my mulch stick. I have my t-shirt my twine. Okay, and then cut off the excess. And I have my mouse stick. So I have a few options. Um, you can definitely use household items if you don't want to go spend money, um, but it's definitely possible to make a mall stick that's under 10, under $25. For those of you that don't know what a mall stick is, it's M-A-H-L. And what you do is, I have my ball launcher, I have my paintbrush, so, especially for left-handers, this is really good um, to hold. You put the, the ball end of the mall stick at the top of the painting, and then you bring your brush and you paint. So this avoids you smearing your paint as you go. Um, you obviously want to try to put this part of the mall stick at the point of the painting that's dry. So that way you're not smearing the mall stick as well, but you're just, but you're just, you have your mall stick and your paintbrush. So when you have your painting, your canvas on an easel, it usually is gonna stay in place. Um, but you have your mouse stick. I have this one too, which is a little bit longer, so I can go across. And it keeps your hand in place. 